I like the relationship that this generation of characters has with the generation, the younger generation on, uh, on Spider-Man. There's something really fun about Tom Holland and nice uh, juxtapositioning of, of uh, Peter Parker and Tony Stark. They're both, they're both eggheads. They both are kind of nerdy, both heroic. I have a great time working with John Watts. Uh, you know, he comes out of a similar background that I do, smaller independent films. And uh, it's, it's interesting watching him bring his sensibility to a, a larger scale production. Of course, he's being looked after well by, by his support crew, uh, but it still takes a vision from a director and, and it's fun being directed by him and working with the actors that he's working with. Most people know who Spider-Man is, even people who never read comic books. We grew up with Spider-Man, whether it's the cartoons or an electric company. I remember being aware of Spider-Man from a very young age, and he's probably the Marvel hero with the most name recognition uh, coming into the film world. And of course, there's been a lot of great Spider-Man movies. And, uh, and so now to, to have him uh, reemerge in this new form, I think is exciting. I think uh, the fans already enjoyed his, uh, his depiction in Civil War. So it's not like you're coming in cold. You know, when we first did Iron Man, you know, we, did, we worked on the film not knowing whether or not the fans would be into Robert playing Tony Stark or, or if they would be accepting of a hero that a lot of them hadn't heard of. In the case of Spider-Man, everybody knows who he is. Everybody's rooting for him to do well on the big screen. And people really dug uh, Tom Holland playing him in Civil War. So. On this film, even though it's the first Spider-Man film of, of the new iteration, it feels a bit like you're inheriting uh, momentum from a sequel because he's already appeared and, and, and uh, been such a fan favorite.